my life has been fairly uneventful. I've been able to return to all of my previous activities and occupation and um, I've had no residual effect from it, essentially. The first assumption was that I had suffered a typical heart attack, a blockage of coronary artery, but the and so the first thing they did was do an angiogram where they found all my arteries were clear. Then they realized this had to be a conduction problem and they brought in an electrocardiologist specialist and he ascertained that that in fact is what was going on. The, the biggest thing I learned is number one, this can happen to anyone at any time. There's no ability to predict the type of heart failure that I had. Number two, it would really be beneficial to people if they could be in a work environment where their co-workers were trained in CPR intervention. And of course the most important thing is hope that EMS services or fire department services is close enough to where they can immediately start resuscitation efforts. Because time is brain cells. <laughs> That's it. I was told by the cardiologist um, at the hospital that typically the survival rate for this type of spontaneous heart failure is about 3%. And that basically all revolves around the fact that intervention is not readily available. I would just happen to be at the right spot, at the right time, close proximity to uh, um, ambulance services, paramedic services, and I was really, really lucky. That's Every year our family has traditionally gone to Canada to go salmon fishing the first two weeks of July. The heart failure that I suffered was in mid-June and I was in the hospital for about six days. After I got out, the doctor advised me to that I needed at least two weeks of home rest and uh, that I wasn't supposed to drive or travel or do anything, but I'd already planned this fishing trip. I'd actually already packed our equipment and loaded the boat on the trailer. So despite his advice, I decided to go and we drove up to the far end of Vancouver Island and had a great fishing trip. It did make me aware of the fact that you can uh, be taken away or pass away very, very quickly. And so you try not to want to have too much unfinished business and things like that, particularly with those people that are important to you. And in my case, I was lucky, my wife found me, and I had a good outcome. Mm -hmm.